this is Jamie and I'm standing in the steampunk lounge. Now this is our very first video for adult programming, so bear with me. <laughs> so, steampunk lounge. It's upstairs in the cyberium and it's dedicated to teens and adults. So that's where you'll find me mostly. So, steampunk, what does that mean? We're going to talk about it right now because I happen to be a big fan. So steampunk is a genre of science fiction, and science fiction has lots of different subgenres: alien invasions, a dying earth, um, parallel universes, and steampunk is just one of them. So in steampunk, there are a couple of different elements. You'll know you're reading a steampunk book when it's set in the Victorian era. It's based on science, of that time, but using technologies that they didn't actually have available. So it takes place in a possible past. So you're going back to the past, but you're kind of visiting the future. And they call this retro futurism. So the steampunk era is the steam powered era, Victorian era, sometimes the industrial revolution, before the invention of gas engines. So there's usually a lot of contraptions involved. It's usually pretty adventurous. The things we take for granted today might have been used in a different way or powered in a different way in a steampunk novel, like a clockwork toaster perhaps, or a steam powered elevator. And there's a lot of copper and wood because there were no plastics at that time. So everything is luxe and soft the lighting is more of a yellow glow from that tungsten bulb. Then um, there's wood and iron and copper. Lots of things that were used at that time. And then there's the romance element. Now, it doesn't always mean that there's a love story in a steampunk book. But what it does mean is that they will use more formal in ways of interacting with each other. Like um, etiquette and manners and a more formal sort of interaction in the characters. So they usually will be wearing the height of Victorian fashions mixed with a little bit of piracy. So goggles for your airships and um, corsets and top hats. And the most important thing I think about the steampunk genre, what makes it really appeal to me, is that these tales provide what actual history did not. So instead of something being a historical fiction, um, it's more of a historical what could have been using modern aesthetic. So like equality for women, equality for people of color. You find a lot of characters that are in the LGBTQIA community. And so not every hero or villain is a man. So that's steampunk in a nutshell. But don't go anywhere. I have some more things to tell you. We're going to make more videos. We're going to introduce you to steampunk authors. And um, there's artwork, there's movies, the comics, and all of this stuff that has to do with steampunk we're going to discuss. Also, um, cosplay and fashions. I have a craft planned. And the real science behind this fanciful technology that you find in steampunk books. So take, out, uh, take some time to check out the other events at the Cyberium. We have story time with Miss Patty. We have um, some VR tutorials and other tech tutorials from Laz and myself. And we'll have some um, other crafts and other activities coming down the line. So keep an eye out on our, our Facebook page, our website, and our YouTube channel to make sure you catch all of our interesting content. Plus, you can come see us. So if I do see you around town, follow me to the Cyberium. Thanks for watching.